Good morning, Winter Raven. I'm Colin. And I'm Maddie. And you're watching BTV for Friday, February 2nd, 2018. We're doing a first responders tribute to all the men and women who help us every single day. Emergency medical services treated almost 30 million people last year. Wow, that's more than the population of Florida. Coming up on today's show... Winter Haven Cops and I Live. Police Department. There are over 900,000 law enforcement officers in the United States, 12% of which are female. And you know what females love? Flowers. And the course will be selling long stem carnations to be delivered during your fifth period on Valentine's Day. The price is $2, and you can place your order with Miss Hatley or any course member, and orders must be placed by February 8th. Donations for Pasta for Pennies will go towards medicines, doctors, and help fund research towards blood cancer to find a cure. The class with the, cl with the highest amount of donations will receive a lunch from Olive Garden along with other prizes. The donations will be collected each Thursday during fifth period, which started February 1st and will go until March 1st. And you know, Winter Haven High School has its own police officers. You know, PB, sure did a number on those guys breaking the dress code. Yeah, we sure did, Jay, but we can't get ahead of ourselves, because the thing with the teens nowadays is cell phones. Aw, oh, those blasted devices. They just won't get off of them. We gotta do something. Hey. Let's do something then. Let's do it. Hey, cops on three. One, two, three. Cops! To solve our cell phone problem, uh, Jay and I, we went on a classroom raid to prove a point. Hey, everyone put your hands in the air right now! Do it! Put them up! Put them up! Hey, you know that! Red boy! Hey! After that, we saw three little girls taking selfies in the courtyard and, uh, he told them what was up. We handled that business. You think that's cute? No phones on campus! Nice work, gentlemen. Really handled that business with the, the cell phones. I'm Henry. And I'm Logan. And we're out here in front of Winter Haven Hospital. Founded in 1926 and now part of the Bay Care Health System. And you know, Henry, it's very important to stay physically healthy, especially if you're going to be part of the Naval Academy. And if you're interested in joining up with them, there's going to be a summer seminar this June for a few weeks. If you're interested in becoming one of America's next great leaders, you can go see Ms. Bachman in the front office for more information on that. And the Naval Academy will be holding a summer STEM program for 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students. If you have any questions or need any kind of information, go see Ms. Bachman in the front office. And you know, Lakeland Christian School is going to be hosting a Christian College Career Fair this February 9th from 8 to 10 a.m. If you're interested, you can sign up at www.myblueprintstory.com. If you attend, you'll be able to get your absence excused as long as you get a letter from Lakeland Christian saying you attended. And you know, Logan, most hospitals have a triage center. I'm Liam with the Word of the Week. The Word of the Week is triage. The definition of triage is the assignment of degrees of urgency to wounds or illness to decide the order of treatment of a large number of patients. A synonym of the word triage is to prioritize, and an antonym is a lack of system. Examples of triage used in a sentence are, number one, nurses do triage in the emergency room, and two, during the training, first responders will triage fake victims according to the severity of their injuries. I'm Liam with the Word of the Week, and I hope this word improved your vocabulary. Thanks, Liam. I'm Hope here at the Winter Haven Fire Station. And did you know that firefighters respond to more than 33 million fires and incidents each year? Wow, that's a lot. But hopefully they won't get called out by the Black Historical Colleges and Universities. Jump off. This will be held on Saturday, February 24th from 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at the Coleman Bush Building in Lakeland. This will be, this is an educational program that will provide scholarships for students in need. So see Ms. Bachman for more information on that one. And the new scholarship bulletin is out. So make seniors, make sure you go see this one. This is information on the Polk Education Foundation that closes on Tuesday, February 6th. So see Ms. Bachman for more information on that one also. And you know, Ms. Bachman is pretty amazing and so are our first responders. So let's go check it out. I live for the Friday Night Lights. 
Yeah. I live for my friends. <laughs> I live for the crack of the bat. I live for my family. I fight so you can live. It is my job. My choice. To protect. To save. To try. Risking our lives. Pushing boundaries. Being brave. Being strong. Defeating obstacles. Showing no fear. Showing no mercy. Because I care. Because I care. Because I care. Now our first responders do such a great job of keeping us safe. I'm Amber. And I'm Charlie. Here at the Sheriff's Office. Did you know that in 2015, there were 430,472 911 phone calls made, and 99.7% of them remained just 10 seconds? That's amazing. I can't even answer my phone in 10 seconds. You know what else is amazing? We have some really talented students here at Winter Haven High School. You know, we should go to the talent show. It'll be on February 15th with auditions on February 12th. You must sign up no later than today in room 36105. Did you know that the deadliest day in first responder history was September 11, 2001, when 412 first responders died responding to the terrorist attacks on America? They're true heroes. I wonder what our Blue Devils think the hardest occupation is. I believe firefighters because they run into burning houses. Paramedics because they do so much for us. Policemen because they do so much that goes unseen. Honestly, they all do so much, I don't think I could choose. I'm Madeline with the SAT question. Approximately what fraction of the mass of the human body is oxygen? A, one-third, B, one-half, C, two-thirds, or D, three-fourths? The correct answer is C. While we consider ourselves carbon-based life forms, the most abundant element in the human body is oxygen. Hey Colin, you know that Ms. Hellman is teaching her students about blood and saving lives? Really? I bet saying warm can really save your life. Yeah, and if you need a warm hoodie for these past cold mornings, you can go to room 35219 and pick up a new one for only $20. Really? Yeah. And did you know that the cheerleaders are really good at showing Winter Haven High School pride? Oh, really? We're Winter Haven High School and we're going to States! Congratulations to Bailey Harris and Liz Guzman, the very first Winter Haven High School College lacrosse signees. And BDTV would like to thank all the men and women who put their lives on the line every single day to save our lives. Yeah, they do an amazing job, and I'm so thankful for every one of them. Well, that's it for today, Winter Haven. I'm Maddie. And I'm Colin. Have a great day.